Hello, this is Thibaut for another animation tutorial video. So today we're gonna see a full screen image reveal on click. So let me increase the size of my screen. Just hold on a second. And let's have a look. So I have this screen where I have a, 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 this section where I have, I have a full screen image. Then when I'm clicking on the button, I have an animation to move to the next image. You can select whatever image. And you have an animation on the text. And as you can see, an animation on the button, which is slightly increasing. And the background image is getting to the negative uh, aspect of the, 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 the main one. So what's is important today is that I will not use motion page. I'm using 100% bricks and interaction. And for the interaction, we will see, but I'm using the attributes, which is quite convenient in that case because it's avoiding a complex uh, um, interaction with classes. So just, just for you to understand, if I inspect you see that I have a data attribute, which is set on four. But if I click one, you can see it's becoming one. If I click on two, it's becoming two. Click on three, it's becoming three, and so on and so forth. So let's see how it's, it's done. So I won't, won't go through all the details, but what is, what is important is the code. The code is the following. I'm using attributes, so I'm using this um, way of writing the code. So it's not classes, it's attributes. So it's between brackets. And I have my data set when it's equal to one. I have my full image one, which is getting to this clip path. I think you're used to that now. I'm using quite a lot the clip path uh, property. And I'm putting also a Zin index of 10. If I look to the, to the structure, so I have a full screen container, my full, full wrapper, which contain my text, my buttons, and my images. They are all separated. For instance, my, my image, if I take the class full image, I have a CSS, which is putting an inset, a clip path inset of 100%. So it's pushing the top because it's the first one from the top to the bottom. And what I'm doing with the code is I'm translate, I'm changing the hundred percent to zero percent with a transition of one second. So that's why you can see this change. Ah, sorry. You can see that there is a transition. By the way, the transition we, you, we can change. I mean, we can make it quicker. So, okay. Um, then my code, I'm also animating the text. I'm translating to zero because I'm actually change the text position by putting a transform translate Y minus 100%. So full text class, transform the Y, the translate Y is minus 100%. And it has an opacity of zero.
sorry then my code go, go back to my code and for the button i'm doing a scale of 1.15 you can change that also i'm changing the background blend mode i'm animating to the background blend mode of the, using the property difference actually not the property the property is background blend mode and i'm using uh, the difference You can change that if you don't want to have this uh, like negative effect of the image you can delete it's up to you i leave you the decision i mean this is not the important point of the tutorial i think for me the important point of the tutorial is um, the use of data attributes Um, what else? Yes, as a default, I have my first picture, first button and first text. So what I'm doing on the wrapper, I'm giving an attribute by default, which is the data set one. So my first image, first button and first text will appear. I think that's it for today. I mean, I went through the, 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 the data set attribute and you can change the name. If you can put data attribute equal one, that's not really important. What is important is to keep on the button the same um, attribute. Always trigger on click set attribute. So data set, if you put a name like data set or data attribute, keep the name, the always data set or always data attributes, but change just the value. So one or two or three or five or four or five, then it's you put it on the full on the full wrapper, which helping me or oh, helping me. The, the helping the animation, if I go back to the code, to, so the parent will have this attribute and then the children, which has this class, will have this animation. I think that's quite easy, I hope, to understand. Um, that's the, 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 the important points of this tutorial uh i think that's it for today uh hope you have a nice break if you have a break during this vacation supposedly vacation period okay so see you another time and for another tutorial bye